Tonight, from GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, it's week nine of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs taking on Ryan Tannehill and the Tennessee Titans. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you to GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Tennessee Titans and the Kansas City Chiefs. Again, everybody, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Chiefs ball club. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in Week Nine? And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here come the Titans for their first possession on offense and leading them out in his fourth season with the team, 10th overall in the NFL, Ryan Tannehill. And what I loved about meeting with him before the game was talking to a guy who takes ownership of his performance. Two touchdowns, two interceptions last week, but all he focused on was the loss, okay? And he did say, if I change my stats a little bit, not necessarily for me to look better, but that'll help my team. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. Five yards on the game's first play. Second down. Well, this defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down, and they're playing with extreme confidence. Henry again on second down. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instinct, being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Here's Tannehill. That's complete to Traylon Burks. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. First down carry for Henry. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Again, it's Henry. And some space here. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 40 yards rushing for him already. A terrific opening drive on the ground, and it's a first down. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Ryan Tannehill, touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Titans are on the board first here on the road in 
Kansas City. Defensively, they told us that the top priority was defending option plays this week, but here on the very first drive, the defense broke down a bit. It certainly did, and it's really not a surprise because defending option football is difficult. You have to think too much. Most of the time, you just react to what you see and you play fast. Here, you're reacting, you're processing. Do I have the back? Do I have the quarterback? Who do I take? Do I take on a blocker? And next thing you know, he's in the end zone. Taking it about the one. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Time to get our first look at one of the star faces of the NFL, Patrick Mahomes and his Kansas City offense. Really the gold standard among NFL offenses since he became the starter in 2018. And you've got to think that they've got to be feeling pretty fresh. You know, coming off of the open week, didn't have to play, right? Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit, heal some of those aches and pains, and excited about playing again. That really rekindles things a little bit. I want to see how they come out and establish themselves here early. And that bye week coming right where they want it in the middle of the schedule. The first play of the drive there is incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Mahomes going to leave it with Edwards Hilaire on the draw. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. The Chiefs at three and four on the year coming into play. And they come in with fresh legs. They got the extra time off thanks to an early season open week. And usually your hope is that your open week comes a little bit later in the year. But when you get a chance to get your fresh legs back, you have to take that time and run with it. And that's what they're trying to get done here. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Mahomes on the give to Edwards Alaire. And he'll get about three here up to the 44-yard line. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's gonna get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, that was big right there because they're the bottom five in the league in converting on third down. They needed that pickup in a big way. There were two things they said they wanted to win in this game. One, the turnover battle, and the second, third down conversions. So they got one there. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Mahomes to throw. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 25-yard line. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. First and ten, here's Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. Just a yard of the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. That he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. 
Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster, his first touchdown of the year. And the Chiefs' decision to go for it pays off with six points. It took a pretty big risk right there, going for it on fourth down. But hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that, they got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it's capped off by the touchdown from Juju Smith-Schuster. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And yeah, they dipped a game below 500 following the loss last week. And you get the sense that maybe this team's at a little bit of a crossroads here. Yeah, I think that's a really good way to put it because what's that old malaprop? If you come to a fork in the road, take it. <laughs> because this crew, they're losing ground fast. They've got to start winning some ball games. And the good teams, they're starting to separate themselves, and these guys are being left behind. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. And this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winging in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. 66 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On first down, Tannehill. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Five yards, now it's third and five. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Tannehill. And finding the tight end, Hooper. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Tannehill now to throw. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Willie Gay getting in there and picking up the sack. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out.
So third and long after the sack, tough task for Tannehill and the Titans. This is caught, it's Woods. Touchdown, Titans. Robert Woods, 39 yards. And the Titans have taken the lead. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And that makes the score 14 to seven. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And he will have a first down as they get into the... At the 37. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Mahomes. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. To throw once more on second and ten. Mahomes finding Gray on the The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. Looking for Gray and finding him once again. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And now this ball picked up in the end zone. Remember, this is a live ball. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And with a 14-7 lead, they might just be happy to take this thing on into the tunnel. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin out in Houston. And as you see, they were winners back on Thursday night. Davis Mills, four touchdown passes in the victory. From there, we head over to Hotlanta to check out the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they were winners in that one over the visiting L.A. Chargers. Marcus Mariota, a strong performance there, over 300 yards passing with three touchdowns 
in the victory. And then finally, Monday Night Football. The Ravens and Saints down at the Superdome at 8.15 Eastern Time. In our game has been Ryan Tannehill, who's had the hot hand in the first half. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. And they'll get him down inside the 30th to 27. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Gray. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 38-yard line. Now here's Mahomes. And no hesitations. They go right back to Kelsey. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. To throw again on second down. Mahomes. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Mahomes to throw once more. And yeah, this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And yeah, the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Nicole Hardman from six yards away. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from evening this one up. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Extra point by Butker is on target, and we are tied at 14. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Painter. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. From the 10. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. 
Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. Thanks to Frank Clark. That play was doomed from the start. What a job defensively. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Now on second and 13, Tannehill. On the out route, he's got Burks. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. A route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QB's love. And Henry's hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he's got some. And now off to the races down the right side. And he has brought this one back. A fumble recovery for a Chiefs touchdown. So many times, tight games decided by one big play. A lot of times, of course, it's the offense. Here, it's the defense coming up huge. And you know head coaches walk around locker rooms, walk around bench areas saying, guys, somebody make a play. It's a cliche, but it applies here. Butker now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kick's away following that fumble return. This one fielded at the five. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. You're exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, They've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. On second down, here's Henry. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. The Titans on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. Here it's third and three. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 149 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. Derek Nottie makes the tackle. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll try the right side with Henry. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. From the gun on third down, Tannehill. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. 
Did you see that route the way that I did? Yeah. I thought he was trying to get deep. Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not the, he came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. And the busy night for Henry continues. And he's taken down inside the 30. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. From the gun, here's Tannehill. That pass taken in by Burks. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Throwing again on second down. Tannehill, nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Henry up the middle. And the tough run gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. Now Tannehill saying, let's get to the line. He dumps it off for Henry. A great move, but it only takes him to the 7. He's dropped there. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Derrick Henry with career touchdown number 75. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 28 yard line. The decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Mahomes. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Now another timeout called for by the offense as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Mahomes, he's got Smith-Schuster, and they'll get... Seven yard line. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. Here's Mahomes hitting Juju on the slant, and he's going to be taken down right at the 40 yard line. Mahomes taps this forward, it's a jet sweep. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. Now, it doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. A nice, consistent game. Mahomes to throw it. On the slant, he's got Hardman. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. 
They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. And we have free football over time. Here we go, my friend. And the way this game played out, this is exactly how it should end, going to overtime because neither one got an advantage today. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And everyone knows the OT rules, Charles, but pretty simple formula. They go down and get a field goal, we continue play, but if they can find the end zone on this possession, ball game over. And as meticulously as all teams plan for a game, I don't doubt for a second on that offense coordinator's play sheet. He's got some overtime plays that he wants to run. I know it sounds crazy, but they plan for everything. First and 10 all the way throughout the game, second and seven, whatever. Right now, he's looking at that play sheet saying, if we get to overtime, what can we break out that they haven't seen? And that nearly picked off. Oh, that would have been a big INT here in overtime. Instead, they'll get another shot on third down. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Oh, and that's so close to being intercepted. That could have been a big turnover in overtime if he had held on. Instead, though, it is still fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down as they wind up with a gain of 11 there on fourth down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Catch is made by Hardman. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10, down at the 33. To throw, it's Mahomes. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. Down inside the 10, and he gets it all the way down inside the 10, and mark him at the 5. A big play that time on the catch and run, and the Chiefs are going to get a fresh set of downs. Defensively now, the ultimate challenge, of course, if Wall gets in the end zone, this thing's over. And I remember my coach has always talked about in goal line situations, and now you're in overtime where they have to keep them to three points, otherwise this wing is done win your individual battle within the framework of the team defense. Beat that guy across from you. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Mahomes. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive. He had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys do not play offense. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Mahomes will throw. And this will be caught. Touchdown. They needed overtime to get it done, but put this one in the win column. So the game-winning touchdown came through the air in overtime. Four quarters wasn't enough. We were treated to a really good one, weren't we, Parker? That we were, and I just love being able to be witness to a game like this all the way through. Who's going to win it? Oh, what? We're getting overtime? Great for us. A lot of tension on the field. Very tough. Not a surprise it ended with a passing touchdown. That's the way we play in the NFL. But the execution was pretty darn good. So for Kansas City, they level their mark at 4-4 four and four on the year. And they'll get another home date next week as the Jaguars will come to town.
Meanwhile, for the Titans, they fall two games under 500 now at three and five. And they'll have a tough one at home next week against the Denver Broncos.